find me at Selby Abbey up in North Yorkshire. Just checking the uh, guidebook to see what to photograph. I've come up by train. I've only got six hours here. So let's see how I do. It's quite a nice day out there, actually. I am, of course, an OM System Ambassador, Derek Force, and for this project I am using the OM5 with the 12 to 45 Pro lens, constant aperture at f4, and I'm going to shoot everything hand holding at 200 ISO. So, enough of me, let's see how well I did. Many churches and stately homes do not permit the use of tripods inside their properties. Therefore, camera and lens stabilization plus the technique of hand holding becomes very important. Because of increased magnification, risking camera shake, you are more likely to experience unsharp images at the telephoto end of a zoom lens than wide angle. With the combination of OM5 and 12-45 Pro lens, image stabilization is only available in the camera. Also, there is more depth of field with micro four thirds even at f4, essential if you wish to keep to 200 ISO in low light, and we see that here. I combine camera skills with post-production, but I am not expert in either. The judge are my eyes, not numbers. I don't control too much in camera. Some, of course, are essential, such as spot metering, as with this shot. But by leaving the white balance on auto and saving to raw, I can adjust the color balance in post-production. In preparing this shot, I have decided to moderate vibrance using Adobe Lightroom before making a JPEG copy for this program. I archive the raw file in case I change my mind and dispose the JPEG after it has been copied to PowerPoint and published. Whatever I do in camera or post-production, I avoid tying my hands. Also, for convenience, I shoot on program. Program is not auto. With Program plus Shift, you can override exposure settings and add adjustments, such as white balance and exposure compensation. In low light, it is quite likely that Program will default to the widest aperture of the lens, in this case, f4. And don't forget, this lens is constant aperture. How do I know? Experience. I have done it this way for many years. Photographing stained glass is more than record photography. Although in the north transept and away from direct sunlight, there is still huge contrast in this window that challenges accuracy. To avoid burning out highlights, particularly in the faces, I spot meter a highlight and correct, if necessary, underexposed dark hues. Because the window is higher, I have rectified converging verticals in Lightroom. Correction can be done during photography in some cameras, but I have more time at home for making changes in post-production. I mentioned camera shake when using a telephoto lens. Now this shot is taken at full telephoto at a 25th of a second demonstrating the excellence of the OM5's image stabilizer for hand-holding. Due to camera tilt, 
I have corrected converging verticals in Photoshop. I could have left them, but as I consider this type of shot important beyond artistic considerations, I have made corrections to show faithfully its Norman features. But if you disagree or I change my mind, I have kept the raw file and can start again. I do take duff shots. But when Jane was alive, she would tell me off for chucking them, as they can be a valuable teaching aid. Well, I think that's worked quite well. The gods have been very kind to me. The images will eventually feature in one of my YouTube programs about self-happening, hopefully published later in the year. So keep tuned to my YouTube channel, Derek Force. OM System Ambassador, and I hope to see you there shortly. Thank you for watching.